Hello, I'm Douglas Samuel from Windows 7 Made Simple. When you first install Windows 7, you'll probably be wondering where the email program is. Well, I have good news and bad news. First, the bad news. Windows 7 does not come with an email program. I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's not really my fault because I didn't design Windows 7. The good news is that you can get a Microsoft email program for free. You just have to download it. Here's where I can help you because I'll show you where to get it. Start off by opening your browser. If you're not at Google already, go to the address bar and type in google.com. You can see we're already there. So in the search bar, we type in Windows Live Download. The first thing you'll see is Essentials Windows Live. Now if you click on Downloads right here, you get to the Windows Live Essentials download page. Go over here to the right and click on the download link. A window will open asking you to save the file. So save the file. Now in the download window, you can right click on the file you just downloaded and select open. Now here Windows is just checking to make sure that you wanted to open the file and it wasn't some Trojan horse or virus trying to open the file. So we click run. The Windows Live installer will start to prepare. This takes some time, so in this video, we'll skip past that to the end. Now that the installer is ready, we can see a list of programs included in the package. Let's assume we only want to install the mail program. So we'll go and deselect all the other programs. Next we click on the install button. Now we'll wait for the install program to complete. This takes some time, so in this video, we'll skip past that to the end. In the next stage, they ask if you want to use Bing as your search provider and whether you want to prevent other programs from, quote, interfering with this choice. I prefer to deselect this and make my own choice on my own. I already have a home page, so I'm going to deselect that. And I prefer not to send information away from my computer, so that's deselected as well. Next, click Continue. You may need a Windows Live ID for some programs, for example, Windows Messenger, but you won't need it for Windows Mail, so click Close. So that's how you install Windows Mail. I'm planning a full-blown course to explain how to use Windows Mail, so stay tuned for details. I'm Douglas Samuel from Windows 7 Made Simple, and we've just looked at how to install email for your Windows 7 operating system. Bye for now.